friends, this is going to be my one month um, breastfeeding update. I'm going to try to get this done really fast because um, Hannah does not sleep a lot during the day. She used to sleep about three hours in the morning and then like three hours in the afternoon. And then she would be up for a little bit in the evenings and then she would wake up like every three to four hours at night. But now she's like eating every hour to two hours at a time. And um, I don't know if she's going through like another growth spurt or what, but um, I will talk more about her in her one month update tomorrow because I go to my one month doctor's appointment or her one month doctor's appointment tomorrow, which she'll actually be five weeks tomorrow, but um, that was the earliest they could get us in. So anyways, um, this is gonna be my one month breastfeeding update. Breastfeeding um, is going really, really good for us. She is latching really well. In the beginning, my nipples were sore and cracked and bleeding, and now that's resolved. I just kept putting, like after each feeding, I would put lanolin on the nipple, and plus I'd put it on the um, breast pad as well, which I highly recommend doing that because when your nipple is dry and cracked and bleeding, they tend to stick to the cotton of the breast pad. I don't know um, how that would be with like reusable ones, but probably the same. It just sticks, so I would put the lanolin in, like right in the middle where the nipple would be, and that way it didn't stick, and that really helped my sore cracked nipples. <laughs> um, now I don't have to use the lanolin as much because I've my nipples have like toughened up. It's like this like hard skin over top of them. Um, I don't know like if that's normal or what, but I've heard that it is. So. Anyways, um, last time I didn't do that because um, Ella got nipple confused and I stopped breastfeeding her when I went back to work and um, she was getting more bottles than she was um, breastfeeding from me in the first nine weeks anyways cause just because she just wouldn't latch correctly and um, Hannah has a really good latch and it doesn't hurt anymore and um, as far as pumping goes, um, I'm trying to get my supply of breast milk up for when I get back to work. I've got about, I think, 36 ounces now of breast milk. Um, so I try to pump in the mornings when my supply is at its highest, because that's when it usually is the highest, is in the mornings for everyone, actually. Um, it's supposed to be, anyways. And then I pump in the afternoons. However, today I have not been able to pump at all because she's just been eating and eating and eating. And so I don't want to pump and then have no milk in there for her. But I only pump for like five minutes anyways. And I get like an ounce from each usually. Um, if I give her a bottle, which we started her on bottles because I'm going back to work, I will pump um, while my husband's feeding her. So she doesn't get a bottle unless my husband's at home to feed it to her so that I can pump while she's eating. And she does really good with bottles. We're using the Playtex um Playtex Nurser ones with the bags inside, and we're also using the um, Avent bottles, which I got a free one in the mail, so I'm using that one. She likes the nipples that are like long, because she's breast and baby, and so like she likes those. We tried the Nip Classifier with her, but she likes the long nipples, so she gets a Soothy, Binky, or Passy, and these bottles here is what she likes. So, um, and I've been using which I'll do, maybe I'll do a separate review on this, but I really like this Milky's Milk Saver. I didn't know if I'd really like it. Um, basically, when you're feeding your baby, your other side is leaking milk, so you can put it inside your bra, the one that you're not feeding from, put it inside your bra like this, put the nipple inside this hole. And I collected, like yesterday, I collected two ounces. Um, two, two and a half ounces, something like that which really helps because that's how much she gets, in, like she drinks in the bottle. She'll get about two and a half ounces to three ounces of what she'll drink in a bottle. So um, it's really great for, for making a bottle for her so that I can use the pump milk and freeze it. Um, so basically um, it collects and then you can just squeeze it like this and pour it into the um, bottle. So I really like this. It's nice and like silicone-like, flexible. Um, so anyways, I'll go into more details, I'll do a review on it and go into more details about it, but I really like it. Um, so anyways, 
Um, the other thing I like for when I'm pumping and everything is these little caps. They're made by Medela. They fit the Medela bottles. Um, I'm not sure if they fit any other bottles, but they have like the little dial that you can say like when you, what day you pumped. If it was AM, PM, if it was midday, and then it just like snaps, snaps like that, and then you put it back on the bottle. So I really like that for um, pumping. The other thing I like for pumping, um, let me show you guys these products some things that I really like. Um, the other thing I like for pumping is they make this kit for the Playtex Nurture bottles that you can buy. Basically, it is this, you get two of these little connector pieces like this inside there, and you get like six caps. Um, the caps can go on top of here, and you can flip it upside down or whatever you like to do, and you can freeze it in a bottle, which I don't plan on freezing it in the bottle, but um, I really like that I can pump directly into a bottle. So like if I want to give the whole feeding to her in the bottle, I can just take this cap off, put the nipple on, and feed it to her. Very simple. Um, so basically all you do is you um, put that little white ring on there, and then this works with Medela and some other different pumps as well, and I can't remember which pumps it works with, but it will tell you on the box if you go. Um, the only place I know of that sells the, the pieces like this is the um, is Babies R Us or Toys R Us. And um, I found them there. So for the longest time I couldn't find them. I found them, I think in my last two weeks of pregnancy or something like that, I found them. So, um, and then basically I have a Medela pump, um, I pump in style. So I just hook it right on top of here and I can pump directly into this bottle. So I really like that for pumping. Um, and I do have, I, I did find out that I had lipase, like an extra lipase in my breast milk. It doesn't smell, but like if I taste it, it has like a soapy taste. So I've been scalding my breast milk and um, cooling it and then putting it into the, um, excuse me, freezer bags and freezing it. So um, I will either add the video that I made about how to scald your breast milk. I already have a video that I made three years ago about this, about that. So anyways, I'll also post my three week breastfeeding update, which I forgot to post. Um, I might have mentioned in my three-week update that I had extra lot pace as well, but anyways, um, and I think that's really about it. Um, as far as like the nursing bras go, I was looking for the, um, it was the Duo, Duo Seamless Nursing Bras is what it's called. It's the ones that I have. They you can find them at JCPenney's, however, I couldn't find any in my size, the medium size ones, and they only have them at, you know, a couple of JCPenney's, but the ones here um, don't have them. I have two JCPenney's where I live, and they don't have them, so I have to go all the way an hour from where I live, which used to be where I lived um, five, five years ago now. I grew up there, but anyways, um, I have to go all the way there to get them, and most of the time they do not have a medium. So I'm still looking for them because I need more than two. I have a black one and a beige one, and they kind of remind me of the um, Bravado ones, um, the, the seamless Bravado ones that are on their website right now that um, are, they're like one of their big top sellers. Um, but they're like $50 and these are only $20. So I kind of like these better because of the price. I also have two sleeping bras, a beige and a white one. I really love those sleeping bras. Um, they are the, they're also made by Duo Maternity, or Duo Nursing, it's a Duo Nursing Sleeping Bra. Um, they have them at JCPenney's. If I, and they're downstairs in the wash machine, so I can't really show them to you. But um, if I do another update in a couple weeks, I'll show those bras to you, because they are really comfortable bras. I love sleeping bras. Like, I could wear the sleeping bras. Um, when I was really, really engorged and my nipples were really, really sore and cracked and bleeding and I was just, everything was uncomfortable here. That was the only bra that like really fit me was that sleeping bra. So I was actually wearing it with my clothes because I was in so much pain. Um, and so the whole time, like I only pumped one time and when I did pump, that was at the lactation um, place in the hospital. Um, I got like four ounces, I think it was on my left, left side, I got four ounces, and 
it was so painful to be so engorged like that but I only pumped like two or three times and that was it because I didn't want a huge huge supply I didn't want to like overproduce a lot of milk so um, I tried to just um, wait it out to see <laughs> if it would be you know, the engorgement would go down without me having to pump 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 so and it did and and now like I get I would say I, I would say like probably they produce between three and four ounces each by themselves um, and which is a is fine with me because she only eats probably two ounces out of them at a time anyways um, so I still kind of still feel like a little full when she is done but not too bad like they they go from like a like how it's hard when it, you know it has a lot of milk in it it goes from that hard to this to the soft so I know that she's getting what she needs and um, her weight gain shows it as well I will tell you about her weight gain in her update tomorrow um, but anyways I think that's really about it um, if you guys have any questions for me about breastfeeding let me know um, I hope to, when I go back to work, I hope to continue to breastfeed at least three times a day. And when she's not, when I'm off on days, the one day that I'm off during the week, I plan on trying to keep her here with me so that I can breastfeed her and um, have that day with her. And also have Ellie here with me too. But there's going to be some weeks that I probably want to break from both, so <laughs> there might be a mommy day. Um one week so all right you guys thanks for watching and let me know if you have any questions so um i just want to tell you guys about my why i paste my breast milk again um the way that i found out about it was that i just tested it again just to see if it was going to be sour tasting or um smell different it doesn't smell any different like last time it smelled different and it had the sour taste this time it just has like a like a soapy kind of taste to it so what I'm doing here is um, just scalding the breast milk now I'm going to show you guys again how to do this and put it into my one month update on breastfeeding um, so that if for anybody else who has issues with this as well can see um, so basically I um, just put the milk into this pot here and I'll show you guys in a minute like what it looks like and everything. I actually bought, let's see if I have it anywhere around here. I bought this little um, adapter kit for my Playtex nurture bottles. So anytime that I'm going to directly feed her from a bottle that I'm pumping, I don't scald the milk just because... Um, I'm gonna immediately use it or I'll use it within like four or five hours and so usually it doesn't start doing this until I don't know a couple hours later I think it is is what I read online it starts the process like immediately after you pump but it doesn't like really smell or taste bad until hours afterwards I think is what it is like at least that's how it is with my breast milk could be different with other people's breast milk so let me just show you guys what it's doing here um, so basically it just forms these little bubbles and once it forms these little bubbles you take it right off of the um, burner and you um, let it cool and I have like a whole entire video on this that I made about three years ago when I first started breastfeeding um, with Ella and I didn't know a whole lot about it but you can you can see the little bubbles there so then as soon as the little bubbles start to do that I take it off because um, after that you can um, destroy a lot more things in there than what you're supposed to. Um, it does destroy some things like some immunities and things like that but the lactation consultant told me that it's not as many. Um, you don't have to throw your milk out. If your baby takes the milk you don't have to throw your milk out. That was one thing that I mistakenly did because I read somewhere where you couldn't use it but if, she, if the baby is taking it then you can um, you can use it. So, like, this little thing is so neat because um, you can put this on the bottle. It's so this is um, the drop-ins. You put this on top of here, and then I don't have any little things to show you, but you can put the um, the 
horn thing or whatever you want to call it. You can put that right on top of here. It screws right on top of there and you can directly pump into this bottle. So that is what I've been doing if I'm going to directly feed her from the bottle. Um, right now, my husband's the only one that can feed her from a bottle and um, she will allow him to do it. But as soon as she sees me or catches a glimpse or a sniff of me or anything, she refuses the bottle and then wants to breastfeed. So, which I'm thrilled, but then again, like I have to go back to work. So, um, anyways, but, um, so that is how that works. I'll leave that on there because the next time I pump, I'll probably pump a bottle for her. I already have one bottle in here that I pumped directly into that has some milk. So, anyways, um, that is about it on scalding and that whole process that, um, the little like Playtex liner ring thing or whatever. But I thought I'd add those two things into my one month um, breastfeeding update. Thanks for watching.